Welcome back to the show. This is your tea time on First Plus TV Africa. This segment is called My Music and I. And um, like I introduced earlier, my first song is Jerusalem by Master KG featuring Bono Boy. And um, this song just gives me that no matter how low I feel, no matter how down I feel, whenever I hear that song, I just want to be in the mood, you know, like I'm in the club. Like I wish I could call names of clubs that remind me of this song right now. But there's one popular one that starts with Q. You know that club, right? Whenever the song goes and then you're in the VIP session, like, like it just gives you. She has to put it in Flex there. It. It's not about that now. Come on, what yeah, else do we do if it's not VIP? Come on, man. Am I might not a very important We're personality. Saying it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like I'm saying, yeah. So but Jerusalem you know just I like gives me song. that vibe. It's yeah. that song that even if you're going through the worst heartbreak and it comes on your playlist. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, mm, for now. Yeah. <laughs> and then Bonaboy now came with the vibe. I'm like, I need the, the, mm. all the words. But it is that song that I don't even think about the lyrics, actually. Yeah. It's the vibe. So you see, I, I didn't think about enjoy. the lyrics until Bonaboy came, came into yeah. the song. Yeah. At first, when I heard that song, I thought it couldn't be better than this. Mm. That, that was the first, one of the few times I have to say I took off my hat for Burner Boy mm. because I didn't think he would make that much of an impact to a song that was already so right. good. But right. his lyrics, the vibe in which he put into the song he really shared that right. song with nigeria we're I running think. out of time so i need to move yeah. into my next song which you know is as a whiskey <laughs> fan not whiskey fc mm. because some people say i deny the story whiskey that I touched on the, the heart air. okay but, um yes it's back rumor by whiskey a <laughs> hey. You know that song? Back from, mm, back yeah, that. That. yeah, that reminds me Such of... Such a the, throwback. Of, yeah, it reminds me of the classic Whiskey and how Whiskey started, his humble beginnings, how things were done, you know, all of that. Yeah, and then it just reminds me of that Whiskey that people are saying they want back and then um, they can't get him back, you know, so it's Why just... Why can't we get him back? Because he's a sound man. He's uh, all about the sound now. You get yeah, he's a sound man. I keep telling you guys that do the you Whiskey... Want to, do you want to the new, this? No, uh, uh, this no, song is nice. Please give us your music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um, my song. Mm -hmm. What's my song? Okay, my first song. <laughs> I've not even finished my talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, but let's let's go on with you. Let's yeah. finish, finish. My yeah. No, 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 no. Talk, we will not go on. Go on. No, no. Let's do two, two songs now. So yeah, uh, okay. it's talk on you, and that reminds me of my first adulthood experience. You know, oh, ah. talk on you. You know that song, man. This, boy. This, this reminds me of my first what do you time. Mean by your first adult well, voice? whatever you want to translate it to be, it's left to you. But Lionel Richie is the man every time. Like, when I listen to his album, it's just it just brings back memories from my childhood. My mom is a huge fan, or was a huge fan of Lionel Richie. And yeah. But this song reminds me of a special someone and a special oh. experience. But it's too slow now. What time would it? Anyway, my song. First, don't worry. We didn't know how to do it fast then. <laughs> hey. So you go on. But now it's WAP. <laughs> okay, so you go That's on. That's somebody's first. Anyway, my first song um, I, I heard at the protest, and it's such a vibe. It's um, Tim's and Olamide's song, Loading. Loading. Yes. Mm. Um, I think that song has a street feel to it. And as an Ajibosa that thrives to be as Kwako as possible, <laughs> that song helps me achieve that, just the lyrics and everything. I think, um, what's it called, Tim's absolutely killed that song. And even Olamide's um, rap to it at the end was really nice. So I, I like that song. Mm. Um, my second song is Kofi. Uh, lockdown. Coffee. Coffee, sorry. Coffee come in like a rapture. Yes, I like that one. This song came out during the lockdown period and her lyrics, and I think Coffee also been in the love, love light, talking about a love forever was kind of like shocking to me. So I like that new, that side of her. It's really nice. I like the song. Hey. Can we just listen for a while? Just back, just back, <laughs> okay, just so back, going back, to my back, own back. song is not in the protest grounds, <laughs> anything. But okay, this one, this first one, um, I it stuck when I, I was in Abuja and a friend of mine came to pick me to have dinner and he was trying to remember the song. <laughs> and then he said, Hop in my Maserati. He didn't come with a Maserati. I'm like, what is happening? He didn't come with a Maserati. He didn't come with a Maserati, but he came with something really nice. Yeah, so. Okay. How are you doing? Really nice. Maserati. Okay. Maserati. So, you know what? That's. that's stock because yeah. of the way he said it and I stand listening more. I mean, I, I always love the song anyway, of course. That's by Olakira. So. Hop in my Maserati. 
helped him on Maserati. Maserati. The only part when That's how I start singing it now. I'm telling you, once I, once I listen to the song, I remember him helping my Maserati. I said, you're your boy too much. Just rest. <laughs> then the second one has to be um, Dare For You by Miss Banks and um, Simi. Of course, Simi, Simi featuring Miss mm -hmm. Banks. Um, I don't know. There's no memory to it. I just love the song. Mm -hmm. I love the lyrics. I, I know I want to be there for somebody like this. So listen to the lyrics. If you're interested, you can holler at me, but you have to have money. You know what I mean? Money is a yeah. love language, like it you is. said. It is. Alright, so show us how you vibe to this song. Hey. Anytime you need for a song. Hey. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. So we've all shared our experiences and um, special stories on the songs, and I think it's been amazing. And I think music is a powerful too and um yes it's something that we need to consider especially in the protest as well um you'd see that a lot of things would have gone spiral or maybe gone violent if these entertainers we were not to there keep us and it was not something to actually keep us together at the end of it all so big shout out to all the entertainers who have come out to all the entertainers who have actually helped and so um, losing focus by um I, I am at the end of the day you need to look at the good of it so yes i think mm -hmm. i'm beginning to tilt towards your side just a little a bit, you know, not completely, but begin to tilt towards your side, and I think um, it's been great. So, um, real quick, we need to move on to the our topic of the day, which is um, on Bill Gates. And um, I think I just need to tell you, I know, I know you guys all know the story, but for the viewer who's watching right now, it's actually about Bill Gates who went for an interview, like Bill Gates being here, and the interviewer asked him that, um, "What is your success story?" I mean, what is your, what's secret. the secret to your success? And he brought out a checkbook, a, a, a blank check, and gave it to the interviewer and said, fill in any amount. And she said, no, that's not my question. She returned it back to him and he said, no, like, what is the secret to your success? And then he brought out the same checkbook. And this time, she tore it up and said, no, we need to know the secret to your success. And he said, simply not missing an opportunity like you just did. You could have been the richest journalist in the world and you didn't grab that. So I want to know, what's your take on this? We, of course, we know uh, money is your love language. So let me start <laughs> with you. So what on that note. my love language with absence? So, so you see the story, uh, it's, it's been there for the longest of time and mm. for some reason I feel like it never happened. I feel like mm. it's something that came from all these aspire to aspire mm. people, they sat down to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to create something and make people feel, right. mm, you know, but, but yeah, I, I feel like it, it also speaks to opportunity and how we use it. Mm. Um, so if that show was a live show, I probably won't sat write anything I won't cut the check though but I won't write anything I will probably mm. do what the interviewer did but if it was a pre-recorded show fam I know I would have been richer before <laughs> you'd yeah, have only bought the we'll TV station to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to now edit it and show people what we wanted to see you know yeah. um, so I, I understand the idea of being able to hold on to opportunities and recognize them of course before you are able to hold on to it however you also have to be able to train yourself to be, to, 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 to be able to discern the opportunities to also understand if it works for you as a person if it works for where you want to be because there are so many opportunities that will come up and when you really think about it it might derail your plan like you want to be here and this is going to move you to this point now if you even if you decide to go to this point as well it's fine but is it going to fulfill that um hidden I, I feel like there's always a hidden drive and passion for everyone mm. and as long as that part is fulfilled every other thing whether you are called a banker or a lawyer or a television mm. host or an entrepreneur once that's very important thing no matter how tiny it is is being fulfilled within you you are fine mm. whatever anybody thinks is not the big deal mm. so I feel like when you you should be able to recognize opportunities and also be sure that this opportunity opportunity work work for you as a person and as a person now it's not just about your bank account for right. me it's about your mental health it's about how you mm. can function in that space and be happy right. anything that compromises your happiness is not the best opportunity as far as i'm concerned right. mm. i think there is the logic to, to people um placing a lot of distractions in front of opportunities mm. like things like oh i'm not ready or i'm not capable or um, I don't know if it's right or insecurities basically and I think for her her morals got the best of her so what would you have done her no, before you even go the on best, I want to know if you're I, I, in that honestly, situation honestly I don't like questions like what would I have done because every time 
I'm in a situation where um, I've, I've, I've had, yes, I've, I've done, I've acted very differently. I, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that know my my response uh, manners so well that I can answer this question honestly. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I would have. It really depends on who is who I'm with, the vibe I was in. If I'm not even thinking about it, and someone just pinched me to ask a question, I'm probably not even there. Do you get what I mean? So there's a lot of factors to that. So I don't really know. But as a person in general, I'm not very shy to misbehave and right. call out my and collect Thank your you. money. If you say, Thank you. if you say, no, I, I'm not the kind. I said, oh no, quiz fine. Let's take the money. <laughs> I, used to, I used to do all of that. So I don't know. Maybe I'm tinting towards more, Bye. but I've written a figure. But what I wanted to say with this story was that. Um, it's good to, uh, the story that what I took out of it was that it's good to always be bold enough to grab those things that are right in front of you without really thinking too hard about it. For someone who thinks a lot, I think it is more detrimental than good. Mm. All right, so for me, I'm a realist and um, I know, I know, I've always been of the opinion that um, when you see certain opportunities, you don't turn them down. So even though it's a live television, there's a way, uh, the, the live television, there's a way I'll be like, oh, you only give me a blind, okay, I'll fill it, <laughs> but you will still answer my question, sir. Mm -hmm. I would have still mm -hmm. filled it and still be very professional in handling the show. Do you understand? So you will not be like, oh, she's all about the money and the show ends there. So I'll still feel it, put it in my pocket right there. I'll be like, let me keep this and we'll be right back to you, sir. So tell us, what's the secret to your success once and again? You and, that's the secret. and then he will tell me, oh, this right here, nice one, sir. You've done very well well so thank you very much. i'll keep this i'll cash it next week and then we'll, we'll have a conversation that way i think it will I'm be waiting till next week there's no money in big <laughs> just being professional not have, to make what, people what think would, i'm hungry do you know what price you would have put as well like how much you have put as well i'll have probably put like it's the richest man in the world like i'm i'll be very greedy on that note so i'll put really? like three mm. billion dollars okay that's something i i, I, would, I would not <laughs> no i won't be modest when it comes to that i would put no, I would three billion dollars said it was going on social media where they said if big just gives you his card to say go and buy I'm um, a drink and ju just buy whatever you want. Take care of yourself. <laughs> you come oh, out and buy a to your house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, basically, I think um, it just um, sends a message that do not lose opportunities. Opportunities are out there everywhere. Mm. Even with the old entire protest out there, mm. people are making a lot of money. They're actually thinking while you're there, in as much as you're trying to help people, how can you help people and how can you help yourself as well? So don't just think about opportunities are right there. All you have to do is go out and grab it. And yes, we have to go out and grab our opportunities and we have to wrap up the show while we go grab it. So thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Elsie Godwin and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshinkaya. Stay safe out there.